Good morning, boys and girls. I'm coming to you from my living room in South Berwick, Maine, where it's a sunny, cool day in October. I hope you're enjoying this month. I am I'm taking a lot of walks. It's beautiful out. Okay, my book for you today is called Man on the Moon, A Day in the Life of Bob. And uh, the one who wrote it, the man who wrote it and illustrated it, his name is Simon Bartram, and he lives in England. He said that when he read about the fact that there would be civilians going to the moon very soon, he thought, oh, well, they're going to need someone to clean up after them. They're going to have to hire a moon janitor. And he thought he'd like to do that, be that one. Um, he also said that he thinks that some of his friends are not from his planet, this planet. In other words, they're aliens. So watch how the aliens come into the story. Okay, Man on the Moon. A day in the life of Bob. This is Bob. Perhaps you've heard of him. You may know him better as the man on the moon. This is where Bob lives. Every morning he gets up at six o'clock. He has a cup of tea and two eggs for breakfast before leaving for the rocket launch pad. On the way, he stops to buy a newspaper and some chocolate candies. He's on his way to work on the moon, bicycling up that spiral road up to the rocket launch pad. By eight o'clock, Bob arrives at the launch pad. He changes into his special man on the moon suit and boards his favorite rocket ship. He has to make sure he leaves by quarter to nine or he won't make it to the moon by nine. On the way, he reads the newspaper and does the crossword puzzle. Bob starts work. His job as man on the moon is very important. He has to keep the moon clean and tidy. Quite often astronauts drop candy wrappers in cans. Some people say that aliens are responsible for much of the trash, but Bob knows that that's not true. There's no such thing as aliens. By 12.30, it's time to eat. Bob goes to his rocket ship to get his lunchbox. Usually he eats two sandwiches, either cheese or peanut butter, an apple and some chocolate covered nuts. Sometimes he meets his friends for a picnic. His two best friends are Billy, the man on Mars, and Sam, the man on Saturn. They talk about the stars and tell jokes. After lunch, tourist spaceships start arriving from Earth. It's part of Jobs, Bob's job to entertain the tourists and give them something to photograph. They seem to like somersaults, handstands, and especially high moon jumps. Sometimes Bob performs for them as long as two hours. 
and gets quite out of breath. Sometimes the tourist spaceships will land on the moon. When they do, Bob gives the tourists a guided tour and a speech. He tells them lots of facts, such as how many craters the moon has, or how long it takes to walk around it on stilts. Sometimes people ask him about aliens, and Bob carefully explains patiently that there aren't any. Afterward, Bob opens a small souvenir stand. He sells postcards, pens, coffee mugs, and small plastic moon models. By 4.30, all visitors must leave the moon. Bob looks around to see that everyone has left. He checks inside the big craters in case someone has fallen in, but there's never anyone there. The working day is nearly over. It's time to check that everything is in order before leaving for the night. Bob packs his equipment and any unsold souvenirs into his rocket. He switches on the moon's night light before jetting off toward Earth. By this time, he's very tired, but he still has to keep his wits about him while flying the rocket. As he reaches Earth, it's about five o'clock. The rush hour is in full swing with everyone leaving work and going home, just like Bob. When Bob gets home, first he has a long bath. Moon work can make you very grubby because sometimes the dust gets inside your suit. At last, Bob goes to bed with a mug of cocoa. He sleeps soundly, bathed in moonbeams, very happy to be the man on the moon. And aliens? Well, Bob would know if there were any. Wouldn't he? And I don't know if you can see it, but all over the lawn in the bushes at his house are little aliens sticking out. Okay. Fun book today. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.